Hello, hello, and good morning, everybody. Yeah. How are we feeling today, brothers, everybody in the building? Thank you all for being here. This is London Split 2 Playoffs Day number three. My name is Jack, also known as Nicewig. And I'm Greek. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, guys. I hope you didn't miss us too much. We literally were just live about like nine hours ago, ten hours ago. So yeah. we're now back again, as always. But today... We are in for a little bit of a more sad day. Last two days are pretty much the group stages, which are gonna, gonna dictate who's in the winners and losers. But today, Greek, people do indeed get eliminated. And I know a lot of people are like, well, who really gives a shit, blah, blah. As long as my favorite team does this and does that. You know, I get it, I understand it. But for me, it kind of just sucks to see people go home. Shit, it could be your own favorite team could be going home. Yeah, you never know. Today, we're gonna be watching losers and winners rounds. Okay, for the losers rounds today, we are going to be seeing losers round one, where we're gonna have the top 10 teams advance to the winners, losers round two. And then winners, the top 10 of that bracket, or those sets, are gonna go advance to the finals. And the bottom 10 of the winners are gonna go play the top 10 of the losers round one. Yeah, so basically, literally 11th through 20th place in this lobby that we're watching here today, the first 10 teams are getting cut. Yeah, no, bottom 10 teams. Bottom 10. Bottom 10 teams bottom are getting 10. cut. Bottom 10. Bottom it's 10. Bottom Listen, 10. chat, we're bottom tired. It's hard to explain this. Give us a fucking break, man. Pretty much, basically, what we're saying is, is that 10 teams are getting sent home today. Yes. The bottom 10 of this set that we were watching are getting sent home. Regardless of the situation, they are gone. They are out of here. See you later. You're getting packing. You're going home. You have to watch the championship tomorrow, which you don't want to do. Now, we were just discussing with RKN, who was right here before. I don't know where he went, but this is not a green screen. As you can see, that's... They're moving back there. Them, they're moving. This is real. We're live. We're talking with RKN, who was standing right here before, and he was saying he thinks this is the best losers round one ever. And, and I agree with I him. I agree with him fully. J Links now with a Valkolti in. Let's see where they land. Where are they landing? They might be running right. Bro, Aurora's ratting this building. Are they actually? Yeah. Oh my god, J Links get ratted on. As hand goes down to a charge rifle of Maney. And here comes a Maggie Ball. Oh, the mad, mad, mad Maggie Ball comes out. The Crypto ulti drops down too. Holy shit. They're holding strong here. Aurora does what they want to push through just a little bit more. There's fights 100% going to happen. Oh, yeah. JMW with some good shots there to back him up, though. Nice. Nags gets one on the ranches. That is big time for Nags, man. If you are zero right now, you are smiling ear to ear. You want Aurora gone out of loser's bracket and eliminated from the tournament you take Harvester. Yep, j Ling's now in a 3v2. Oh, nice shots from Noises, baby. Good swing. The two control players gonna take the front side and start to push through just a little bit more. Oh, my. The finisher coming out for JMW? My Damn. man said, don't you rat me. Well played Damn. from j Ling's. Oh, panic and j Ling's gonna be playing. Oh yeah, over on the bottom side. Here we go, Zillac now getting some shots down too. They get one, so Panic's gonna be knocked here, man. The South American boys need to stay up here and try to survive just a little bit longer. There are no teams around to help them, though. So this is gonna yeah. be a 2v3. There is no help coming Noises for a third party. Right. Yeah, it is a 2-1-1 one, one trade, a 2v2. But however, j Links does get the res, and that's gonna be Noises getting fully healed with a battery now on Purple Armor, and Panic is still not res yet, Greek. Yeah, Aurora eliminated at the same time. If you wanna split it, you can. No, it's over. Panic is getting res. LNW now taking down straight to flame. The swing coming out from Jay Links here. Zillac is getting knocked. Rinna Trick is going to be up top. He's also going to get knocked. Jay Links. And Jay Links. Picking up the wipe. Jay Links stepping it up today, bro. What is that? 5kp for the boys over at Jay Links. Taking down two on Aurora. And then taking down the full squad of Glitch Gaming. Yep, and on the back side. Stacks, we have optics. Oh, they're getting shots third party here. Yeah. NTH with a third party all the way from thermal side. And this is gonna be the boy Tida coming in with a first knock on the Nags with a longbow. Yep, Northeption smells blood. Oh my god, J Links cannot catch a break. They're probably never gonna play this building ever again. NTH. Complexity's coming in on the other side and thirding them too. Holy <laughs> shit, bro. So we see the other side here on Greek screen. And J Links goes down. They get hit from the front and the back as Complexity takes them down alongside NTH. Vaxing a big time fight. Unlucky, one HP. Can he survive? It's not looking good. Fire Beavers looking to crush the dreams of Vax here in game number one and make their tournament way, 
way more intense. And oh, Opt no. Optic looking for the Rapski here. And Unlucky goes down as Optic is looking for the Rap here onto Fire Beavers. They are now alleviating the pressure off of Vex, who's already dead, but now they're just taking down Fire Beavers. Yep, Impulse going down, a little bit separated from the team. This is crazy. Satuki now knocking, knocked oh in the my. top right. Optic just can't catch a break. They cannot catch a break. Knocked him, eliminated. And We're down to 12 squad. Knocked him dead. Optic jumping on Fire Beavers here, but it's NTH for the third party. Oh my god! Dropped is gonna be 40 HP. A cell coming out with the gold armor. And he runs right into Easy Flash. Oh. Can he stay alive though? Satuki swinging him, no way. Oh my goodness. Optic out in 11th and Northeption now with six kills. Well, as Complexity trying to move in, let's see if they can do it. They're trying to punch that boy Cody. MDY actually dying in the RV to the Fusey of Go Next. We love that. The one character that could shit on them in the RV yeah, and they run into a Fuse. That is so unfortunate. Complexity trying to stay alive here. Missed winner's bracket by one point, and it's not looking too good. Monsoon needs to find a safe spot here, maybe down below right left, down into right into CR, and he's probably just. I think he's just dead here. If we can make that a good jump first, but... and that's gonna be Complexity going down at sixth place. Not a bad game for Complexity here. Definitely not a good one. NTH picking up more kills. Bambino with enough cluster, also picking up more too. And look who's still alive, Greek. One Look, tappy on Riddle has been ratting this entire time. The whole game, basically. He has been ratting. From from literally launch Lost site, side. went all the way around tree side, zipped up, and is now on the opposite side of the zone. Shout out to Tappy right now, bro. He has played a phenomenal solo game as a rat. I have no idea how you go from launch site to tree all the way back over here to Lava Siphon, but it, it is extremely impressive. That's like one thing I would never able to do as a player. Like that, like that. If I'm going to launch like a lot of sniping, I'm dead. Yeah, and I mean, the team above them go next has a seer, but he has not turned around to scan him. Once. Not once. Not once to turn around to scan him at all, so it's actually perfect for Tappy. He's just going to stay, keep staying ignorant and not doing anything to help his squad out. Then, shit, man, they're going to be in a good spot. All right, so Onik. Using this cat wall here as cover, they're going to most likely have to walk out. And if I had to take a guess at who wins this game, man, I'm not trying to cast a curse, but I think North Epson's got a really good shot at it. I think North Epson's in a good spot. I think Onik is in a decent spot as well. When they walk out, though, I'm nervous that Onik is about to get obliterated. They have to walk out in that open on the top side balcony, and they're just getting shit on as they're fighting right Bussy, now. Bussy picking them too. Bussy taking them down. They're gonna move on to CR as Crazy Raccoon's yeah. eliminated. And Riddle, Riddle order. That man Tappy tried to get in the mix, bro, just to get some KP. He walks in a little bit too early and gets popped. <laughs> That's a great game, though, from Riddle, man. Not a bad game from CR either. Onik, though, is in a tough spot. They have to take an evac tower in the zone here, Greek, to even get up. I think they might just die. Oh, they're dead. Yeah, they don't have, oh, uh, they do have an evac tower. They just got it off the box. All right, so it's going to be North Epson now. But wait, one of them's already down. Go oh next now, looking to capitalize. It's going to be a 1v2 here for Rezzy. 1v1. Go. Rezzy, going to reload. 1v1 with the prowler. Oh, oh my god! god! That's what I'm oh talking my about! Oh, my god! Rezzy I told just you! went nuclear. I said it! These motherfuckers at CH are different! They are different! It's gonna be Jaylene's getting some shots down in the middle of Harvester as well. And they're trying to aggress onto CR just a little bit. A Crypto ulti does come out too. A double Crypto ulti comes out from Jaylene's and CR. And Jaylene. Oh my god, the nade knocks Maney. Holy shit, this is an aggressive Jaylene that we have not seen in the last two days. I am loving it. And they wipe CR. And they're getting third party immediately though. These guys can't catch a break at third party every damn time. Nags is going to get knocked. J Noise is going to be all by himself. I mean, JMW is. They're getting now third party from the right side, a whole team inside. And the one time that Jaylings is aggressive, they go down. Man, and this is really bad for Riddle. This is really bad for Optic. They now have Vexed, a very aggressive team on their backside. Optic yet again trying to find their way in the zone, and it's not going well. Ooh, good shots right there. Drop to see a couple power shots at the end. Not good the right. Oh, As Mia K goes down in the back to Unlucky. Vexed already thirding it now. Knocked. Getting a knock onto Yukio. 
and Optic is still pretty healthy here. They're gonna have to take another fight. Yeah, it's gonna be a 3v3 for Vex here. Vex is now getting creeped in the back as well. There's gonna be another team on Lucky does go down, and these are powerhouse teams, Greek. Fighting Optic nonstop. Fighting off the third party here, picking up the first knock and getting the fin. And now they know there's a, a solo on one team and a duo on another team as Vex at the same time is eliminated. They're gonna start to walk through the tunnel. Anders just getting absolutely fried right now. Dying to there. Very tricky. tricky and Furia goes down. Dreamfire. Oh my god. Dreamfire the, picking up three. The Dreamfire fans in the chat are uh, in the stands are excited. They are ready to go. They want DF to pop off and make it on to the next ra round. But Furia fans, man, down astronomically yet again in game number two. No, it's time to make a bike seat. Switch energy up top now to yeah. fighting on the height versus DF. Are they gonna clutch up here? Who's gonna take it as Dreamfire, Dreamfire is eliminated and Glitch Energy also goes down. And now we're gonna have Onik Esports fighting on the bottom side here versus L1W. Fussy's gonna be 23 getting the knock onto Burris. L1W is gonna be going down as Onik remains a three man Greek. And they're playing this tunnel pretty well. Yeah, Onik picking up two knocks there, not getting greedy, making sure they prioritize resetting here, but strafing Flame and Company Make a portal up, and they come in and clean out Onik now. Black Hand picking up more KP, and they just went from bottom harvester all the way around here to the top. And we see in the top right, man, Optic making the play of the game here to take the win. They kill off ATH in God spot, and now they are in one of the better spots in the game as they have to rotate from the top rock down below to the little crevice. Yep. He's actually getting swung here on the backside oh, as man. he dies to a missile swarm now. And Tida goes down, down as well. MDY picking up even more kills. Yes, sir. And North Epson's going to be eliminated here. Knock getting another kill in the top right. And man, I'm not going to lie, bro. These kill, this leaderboard's going to be insane. There's a lot of teams that did not do well in the first game that are doing well here in the second game. MDY White looking for more blood. It's going to be hand eliminated. MDY White jumping down. Can they do it? No, they cannot. And they go down to Aurora. Aurora having a good game. A really good game here for Aurora, who's down below. Optic, though, looking to make a big time play. His hand is still alive as well. Oh my goodness, OG, could it be? Let's go, the comeback story. Yep, Optic with eight kills right now, and they know there's another team down there, but is this, they're making the push here on the straight flame company behind this rock. Yeah, knock cannot go down, and, and there we go. And that's a black hand. Black hand wiped by Optic there. They pick up even more kills. And Cleve and Aurora now fighting the duo. Can they wipe the duo before Optic comes on over? Is the third party gonna happen quickly? Yep, Optic already with really good positioning here to punish Aurora. And they pick up two knocks on Aurora here. And that might be a green wall W, baby. Uh Wait, Skittle going down. Wait a minute. Oh, a headshot coming out. Go next, eliminated. And I think Aurora, I believe, is a solo it's a 2v1, here. 2v1, I think. I think it's a 2v1. The drop down coming out for Optic. They gotta watch out. They cannot get too aggressive when it's a cost. They just gotta play for the win here. They have double digi. And Optic with their first win of the weekend. Holy That shit. is a banger as well. I think that's an 11 or 12. 12 kill game. So they match North Epson. The two teams that we were talking about, that oh. we were surprised to be here. Game yeah. one and game two. Starting it off with 20 point wins. Oh my god, they needed that so bad. NTH still getting sixth place too. CR picks up a knock on Matafe. I don't know how CR is even getting over to Matafe and Vex. How is Vex allowing for CR to take this space? They do, as Matafe is going to be going down now, and they're going to be a two man for the rest of the game. Monsoon Fury now fighting Fury. top right, and they're going to be going down and scrapping right now. Watson all by himself in a 1v2 or 1v3 versus complexity here, and this is not good. This is a code red again for Furia. And Watson, 10 HP, and Furia's dead. And go next, eliminated as well. Optic now going down as Knock gets killed by Luda. Drop, trying to stay alive, oh! he just got landed on. Who the hell are those guys? And that's gonna be Skittles, most likely going down here, trying to stay alive, he cannot and drop, Optic gets dropped. Goes down in eight. And OG Fire Beavers. And Fire Beavers, bro, is bringing the heat right now, along with North Epson also making a play on the inside of the dome. And look at that pull, it does go into dome just a little bit more, so Riddle's gonna be good, Fire Beaver's gonna be good, NTH also gonna be good. MDY White still alive, the solo rat of ATH is also still up too. Oh, I like that play from NTH a lot, man. They I, I'll are tell you why, right now. I don't bro. think I've ever seen a team do more with less. 
they are landing at just some of the worst places and still just having bangs. I don't understand how they do it. It's really, really, truly impressive. They're getting wide smoke now, though, too. I don't like this play by Tyler too much. He tries to get back inside. They do get the knock onto Impulse, though. That is teamwork. That is teamwork. Tida goes out and has to come back in, but as he's coming in, bro, Rezzy with the wide swing gets the knock on the impulse. That is how you help your teammate out. They control got some the help there from takes complexity as well. As yeah. Luda picked up one kill too. True, but control Good players. Good shots there from Tida as Rezzy gets yet yeah, another guns. knock. Yeah, nice job. They get and wide they get swing swung side. in the storm. Can they do it? No, they can't. That's a great swing by Complexity. Yeah, that's actually a massive play. What there. a play from Complexity. Such Start a, a fight. Good job. Going down as well to MDY. There's going to be trades on both teams here. That's huge. MDY White trying to stay alive. Can they make it work? It's a 1v1. Oh, Getting no. Getting the Phoenix off. Complexity gonna is now going to have to play healing. for the kills. Yeah. Complexity full healing too, so they're going to be a full we reset. got in the back. Oh, no. Good Prowler shots there. Hey! And there we go, SAF. It's going to be Riddle and Complexity in a 3v3. Oh my goodness, Riddle versus Complexity. I don't even know who to watch right now. You want to split? Yeah, yeah, go watch Complexity, watch Complexity. You got it. No, watch Complexity, go to Complexity. W, let's go. A little split POV. Riddle versus Complexity, baby. 3v3 straight up. Both of these teams need a good game. 3v3, settling. Both Riddle teams. has most of the zone here, though. Yeah, but man, Complexity's loot is way, way better. It's not and here close. they go, Complexity. Swinging to the right now, getting a little bit more of cover here. Yeah. Could be huge sky nades here from Cody. Yukio has nothing on his power right now. He has no mag, just a digi threat, and Complexity is fully digital. This is Good shot there from Cody as he gets the first initial crack. Nice, good little swing. The Luna back. goes down. Come on, baby. Cody Yukio. gets stunned by the bangle and gets shot in the goes back. Down. And now it's a 3v1. Monster can't get up. It's a riddle, riddle win! Baby. It's a riddle win! Yeah! He called it, baby. Come on! Look at the dance! Look at the dance! Oh! Look at my boys! Let's go! Well, we low-key called that W in that interview in front of the entire arena. Yeah, we definitely cast a curse, though. You were literally just singing. We were both saying soaring, flying, and then he just got shot there twice. Yeah, but that's content. That guy actually we'll see got, that one on That TikTok. was just a straight duck hunt. Oh, right, look at this. Right Furia this. actually taking the cannon, and they're landing right on top of him. Does he know? No, he had no idea. Watson had no clue, I don't think. He just took the cannon onto CR, and now the other boys taking the cannon. And Panthers is going to go down. Nice knock. One more trade. Oh my god, great shots from Sarah Tricky here. He goes down. And Watson last up on the zip line, and Furia, after chasing North Epson the entire game, says, all right, whatever, we'll go back and we'll do our normal strat. And they run right into CR right off the cannon. A lot of fights breaking down. CR looking for some shots. Yeah. GN going down to the top right. They're going to die to see NTH and Aurora. Aurora now going down as well. And they're going to get third party by NTH. And here's the fight breaking out. Raw's on the gimme. Can he do it, baby? Yeah, playing the, playing the rampart walls. Well there, and JMW with a really good spray as he's gonna go down to Parka. Noises and Nags now. Good power shots. N Nags goes down as well, and now it's up to Noises. Uh oh, Gets one on to Parka, and it's not enough. And CR, who right now is in 12th place. And they're getting thirded now. It's gonna be Glitch Energy running over here off the Seer scan, and they wide swing it. Ross gets and they the get the fin. Wow. Glitch Gaming, as I said it before, the 19th place team. I wanted the boys from South America to step up here and move forward and advance to the next round, and they are doing just that with this game, Greek. 6KP, top seven, and they're looking real good, baby. I'm loving the aggression right out of them. Roy has not stopped looking out with the take. And Rena Tricky with the clear here, leave no witness eliminated in third. It's gonna be Dreamfire versus GE here in oh my 3v3, God. baby. Go on, TF, we're gonna get the dual cam here, baby. 3v3. Can the boys in Glitch do it? Okay. Watson all going down there. Huge bang ult there from Roy. It's a really good one, bro. A good bang ult too from Silak. They're both going to stun each other here. Let's see what happens. Huge Sear Q. But Pipe goes down first. Roy with the Prowler. Zillak picks up two. Yeah! And the wins it. They do it, baby! They Let's do go. it! They fucking do it! That's a huge win for GE. Oh my goodness, the boys at Glitch get it done. 
<laughs> You'll love to fucking see it. They were in 19th, 19th place. 19th place with one point. And that might actually bump them into the top 10. I cannot believe that Glitch Gaming does it. That's a they massive They literally boy. said to me yesterday that they were so nervous. They're all 19, 20, and 17 years old, bro. Or 18. You one of the three. They are one of the youngest rosters here. Absolute fucking legends, man. Tida is doing the Tida armory by himself. is doing the armory by himself while his teammates are in North Tida went to the armory over outside of Lightning Rod to grief Furia. Where are they going to meet up? And then his teammates went all the way over to North Pass. He just went to armory just to grief the boys at Furia. He just jumped off the map, and they're gonna craft his banner over in North Pad. So he starts the armory, griefs Furia, jumps off the map, and they're gonna craft his banner in light in, in North Pad, and now they res him. That's petty. So he just ruined Furia's game, and that is a gigantic. Giga That's brain play. Petty. That is genius. Of course it is. What a phenomenal play by Tida. And now he gets respawned with his team. I mean, bravo. Unlucky and them have to make a play here, Creek. A minute 20 left. They're now getting ran up on by oh the other my. team. And Vex is going to be going down. Unlucky dead. Tyler dead. Or Matafe dead. Unlucky last alive. He's going to be riding down below. And this is just... And there's yet another third party. It's going to be the duo of Riddle coming in from the back here as GE rushes back to their building. They're going to probably have to deal with Riddle. And now Northeption can probably look to clear Unlucky and company. Yeah, Unlucky, though, does get knocked down below. They have two men down below, too. NTH is recognizing that it's a solo with two knocks on him. Can he get the res is the question. I don't think so. No, I don't think he reses at all. I think North Epson can probably clear and then instantly go third party the house. And they need to as they only have 45 seconds left until this ring core close. Yeah, I wonder if NCH would just immediately get angles they are going to right now. Infected Gaming eliminated Greek at 17th place. Only five points and it is not good right now for the boys at Vex. Is Furia making the move? They are. It looks like they want to come up and fight oh, yeah. this right now. Start a fight. The biggest fight a, too. Yeah. Huge fight here for Furia, and Zarek Dickey's gonna start it off with a two-piece. Oh, well, this is not good, though. Look who's coming in for the third party, baby. As Furia eliminates SAF, it's gonna be LNW looking for the third. They don't get it, but Furia gets the full reset, baby, and LNW backs off the third party. That man, Yukio, whipping the trident over to Mill. He's probably gonna be dead here. Let's go on Greek screen. Yukio, the rat trying to survive. He and does Riddle. not get it. Eliminated. And Riddle eliminated. Furia now with the Falco feed face special. What can he do? What can they do? There's no way they commit to this. Nah, but Watson Jay goes down. Watson goes down. Furia, one man up. It's up to Zara Dickey. Can he do it? The boy wonder. The last one alive. He's going to get full scent. He's barely alive surviving. How are they not going for this kill? They're going for it now. They're going for it now. Watson goes down. It's one man and up. Furia eliminated in nine. DF fight here as yeah. well for this walk. -in. Let's tune over to the boys at DF, man. They already got a knock on a knock on a fussy. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. It's Let's up see. to the boys, Racky and Shady. As the zone is gonna fin fussy. Serialty down. What can the boys do as a duo? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Fussy's gonna be fully eliminated. I don't I mean, know. They hit that bank while they're The nade launches him into the zone, and here's the, here's the swing in Dreamfire. Takes them out, and they're going to be able to walk into the zone easily here. Yeah, the zone is a little bit right in front, so they're good. The end game, too, the final one's right there, man. DF looking real solid right now, baby, real, real solid. They're in 10th place, Greek. The Bucks is now fighting up top. Dropped an OG, getting some kills. Complexity, can they stay alive? Monsoon, the last one standing. I believe he's in a 1v2 right now versus Fire Reavers. Can he survive? No, he does not. And Complexity is eliminated. Yep. It is Sunset Aurora all by himself. Well, it's going to be Molly Wan, actually. No, Sunset playing today. I heard. Oh, so he's here. That's what someone said in my chat. I have no idea if that's true. That'd but be great. They Garth. could just be saying that because they see the name. But yeah, sure. I don't know. We'll not be sure either. The shot comes down. The shot. That's going to be Nags going down. That is very bad for Fire Reavers here, as that might save their game. Freak. Aurora and Black Hand eliminated. We're down to a top four here. That, no, you're good. You no, that's good. That was great. Yeah, Aurora eliminated. Nice job. 
Nags might get res here. I'm not too sure. Oh, he's on the Aurora Twitter. It's Sunset. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Fuck yeah. Big time W, man. Nice. So NTH dead. We have DF, Optic, Fire Beavers, and J Links all still alive for the top four. Optic queuing for the ultimate height. Drop goes down to Storm. What? Drop dies to the Storm. Skill kicks dies to Storm. They tried to queue up to the height and they couldn't get it. He might be able to res. No way right now, man. Fire Beavers. They scan it and they swing it. Nice. Good shots there from Knock though as he picks up a knock. It's a really good, really good spray from Knock. Can he come up clutch? He cannot. Optic and going Fire down, Beavers man. eliminates the boys over at Optic. We're gonna tune into DF Freak. They're in a great spot to win this game. Fire Beavers do get the res too. too. It is a 3v3v3. DF, Fire Beavers, and the boys at J Leagues, all teams that need to do well here. Dreamfire with a big swing here as they get the first knock on to OJ. Pike leading the charge here with the Prowler, gets behind the knockdown shield, and Fire Beavers get smoked, and Dreamfire are looking like dream crushers right now. Yeah, right? they are crushing dreams, bro, and they are taking names, and we have J Links with a great. And great another knock! A great DM. knock! And DF! is gonna start to move forward here on the other side of the wall. Are they gonna do it? The crowd is electric right now. The chance coming out, the swing coming through, and here we go. More shots going down. Roy goes down. The Seer Q comes out. It is now a 2v2. It's a 2v1. 3M. Oh my goodness. The swing. The swing comes and out. Jay and Jay Leaks wins. Jay Leaks somehow wins. Oh Jay my Ling. goodness. How does Jay Leagues even come up clutch in that we situation? We talked about it, man. They needed that W. I want to see where they shoot up on this leaderboard, oh, man. Oh, my God. The I don't, hometown favorites. I don't think people understand how important that game is for Jay Leagues. They were borderline, not about to make it Greek. They're in 16th place. All right, here we go, chat. Who do you guys have to win? Tell us right now some teams that need to do well. Vex in 19th, Fury in 18th. Crazy Raccoon in 15th, and Aurora in 12th, and Jay Lings in 11th. Here we go. 2v2, ATH Complexity here. Let's see which teams can rock it. Do not forget, like we said, Complexity, nothing to lose. If they die here, it doesn't really matter. Qualified already. ATH, if they die here, their London split two playoff dreams are now GG's. And the swing here, playing the door well. Goes down, Cody with some really, really good shots. It's up to sleep. What we want is gonna be a 1v1. Oh, ah, complexity eliminated! Sleep. ATH keeps the dream alive. Fury now fighting. They get looked up on the right side. Can Someone walks up, it's gonna be Vex. Taking a fight on Fury on Lucky. He's immediately dead though. And now this is very, very bad. Will not them come in third party this and forget about the solo is the question. Watson almost goes down. Vex in a 2v3. Glitch goes is eliminated. Down. This could be very bad for Glitch. They might not make it off that green. And now Furia looking to get a reset off here. Did Vex get the res or no? Vex, I don't believe, did get the res. I'm pretty sure they're all still full dead. I might be wrong here. The shot's coming down now. Is there a tricky trying to stay alive? The swing comes Tyler down. Tyler goes down. It's up to Matafe. Matafe. Matafe, Vex's last hope. And it's not going to be enough. And Vex is eliminated. Their tournament dreams are over. And Vex goes down. They are no longer going to be a part of London Split 2 playoffs. No one will third party Furia here. And that is a tough... I just got goosebumps. I, I feel so bad. Yeah, I, I know everybody, you know, that someone's yeah. got to lose. I know. It's inevitable, but man. I love Just turning man. around, seeing them, and just knowing how hard they worked this pro league split. Yeah, man, it sucks to see people lose. Optic is just taking their evac tower. That's great. They bring no attention to themselves at all by not putting they down their own. They to fly into, like, the pools, maybe. They're flying on top of them. They have no idea. NCH has not a clue. Wow, what a rotate here for the boys. Oh over my at god! That is gorgeous, Greek. A silent evac tower rotate because no one could even hear them because they didn't put down their own anyway. That is a gigantic strap. I love that. And oh, not yeah. gonna get the first knock here onto Jinx. That is a great play, baby. A lot of teams are dying here. Don't forget, Fury needs a big game. They need CR to have eliminated. KP. I think their tournament dreams are over yes. as well. Same with Start a Fight. CR and Start a Fight's dreams are now over. Unfortunately for those teams, shout out to them, man. They play fucking great. Very impressed by both. NTH now and still it's holding gonna a respawn. Be Riddle dying as well. Look what's Beavers. happening over here. Riddle goes down. There is a chance that they do not qualify either, Greek. I am a little bit nervous right now. One point. And here we go. Furia now fighting against 
on the bottom side of ATH, and Dreamfire is gonna come in for the third party. Can they get some shots down? ATH, ATH eliminated. They have no knocks, I don't think, on Fury. Yes, it is, it's Panders getting knocked. It's a two-man on Furia. Can they stay alive here? It is up to Zara, Tricky, and Watson. If oh they get eliminated, God, their tournament dreams are over. Watch it! Furia, Furia eliminated. eliminated! And it's gonna be Dream Fire. Crushing dreams. Oh my god. And Optic. Dream Fire. Optic coming for the third party to hold out Dream Fire now. Oh my god. Dream Fire blazing through the sweet dreams. LNW now might have to fight the boys over at FUI White. The Jimmy Rotate coming in for Aurora. Can they make it work? They slam into the building. They put the bubble down already. So they have no bump here. The smokes do come out. Oh my god, he's stuck. He just got stuck on the railings underneath as he goes down. And Aurora is going to be a duo now here, too. They are so close to qualifying. Can they keep it going? They are That's so, it. so That's close. He goes there down. For Onik. They have four kills. And Sunset goes down. And Aurora's eliminated, and that I don't might know if be that's the enough. end. I don't know if that's enough for the Greek. It's not looking too good for Aurora. I would say that their tournament dreams are now over as well. Yep, and in the other building here on the south side, you've got LMW and MDY in the same building as Nags and company at J-Lings are in the next zone. They're chilling, and so is Blackhand. Yeah, J-Lings picking up some KP here too. And man, bro, shout out to all these teams that are getting eliminated, bro. I'm still very impressed. GG's, you guys have been playing amazing. The climb up now for MDY White. Are they gonna get the elimination? They are. Leave no witness, eliminated. And there, this crowd is packed. This yeah, no is pops all up. over. This crowd is huge. All right, so J-Link's playing that backside rock. They're gonna be good, man. Send up the fences here too. Four squads of 11 still up, baby. Let's lock it the fuck in and see what's going on. Here we go. Those three teams man, on the other side of the circle are about to have a brawl, Greek. An absolute brawl. And here goes Optic, looking to clear the height. Optic the surprise the attack, and they get one on the Shady. Nice, it's a great kill here by Shady. Very good job. Drop does go down, though, man. It's going to be strafing flame, getting a KP. 2v2. 2v2 here, knocked in skills, still trying to stay alive. I'm going to go over to J-Links here and just look at what they, they do. But the most important team here by far, along with Onik and Blackhand. They might be able to rest drop. They might be. That cow wall was really, really good. Here we go. J-Links. I'm going to get the dual cam here. Greek, change your POV to Skittles again. There you go. And now we're going to have a J-Lings optic. The Craver. Oh, the Craver shots maybe from Skittles here too. J-Lings though, just looking at everyone on that side. Nice Skittle, shot from shot Skittles. There, the there we go. One. Shots from J-Lings go down. And I think this is going to be a, a J-Lings back-to-back W, baby. It's looking real good. Skittles with the 360 no-scope <laughs> throwing knives. J-Lings! And J-Lings! Back to back wins. The and hometown they are heroes. Qualify. The, the hometown, hometown heroes. heroes. My dark horse, baby. I don't know if Riddle makes it. They're cheering. I think Riddle might have made it. They are cheering right now. I think they did it. They are screaming. Oh my God. Chat. Riddle by one. Chat. The top 10 teams that are going to qualify going into elimination bracket round two yuka is waving to yukios giving him a thumbs up that is the most wholesome shit ever moving on our optic fire beavers north Epson, complexity j links dream fire onik black hand go next and riddle order Ugh. so chat we are back now for winners round one this is gonna be the 10 teams that get the top 10 here are going to make it to finals. I ate that sandwich in about 36 seconds. It was gas. Is there pickles on it? I have no idea. The breakdown pretty much of winners bracket round one consists of the top teams here. The top 10 will automatically play tomorrow in the finals of match point. And the top 10 teams here not only get that advancement and skip around, skip one whole round, they actually get points immediately added to their overall score going into the finals tomorrow. So if a team gets first place tonight in this winner's round one, let's say TSM gets first, they're gonna have 10 points already added to their score before game one even starts the finals tomorrow. Here's the thing, it is not like last round. Last round, if you were in the bottom 10, guess what? See ya, see ya later, losers. Sorry, mean. Not actually. A little too far. Yeah, a little too far. My bad. You guys, you didn't, you guys played great. They're not losers. We're They're not losers. We're proud of you. I'm very proud of you. I just said losers because you're lo you're not actually a loser. Okay? Um, you are eliminated, though, from the tournament, and uh, you will not be competing again. 
That was last round. This round's a little different though. The bottom 10 here will actually go compete in another round tonight against the top 10 from last lobby, which is very interesting. Because the bottom 10, the top 10 from last lobby was pretty stacked. The bottom 10 from this lobby, Greek, is gonna be just as good because there is nothing but good teams in this winner's round one. Gombare versus KCP, baby. Let's go in a straight 3v3 contest two. Let's do it. You want to just split? Nice shot, Good shots, shots there from Nasky. Gets really the knock onto Zheng He, and it's up to Dogma and Jusna now. Yeah, that's actually a really, really big knock, man. A little bit nervous for this contest for Gombare. I feel like they're not nearly as good as KCP over at the Climatizer side. I also think their all spawns are so well polished from TF. And from so many others. And Zane picking up the first one. And Zane. And Gonbare eliminated. Look and at Nasky, he's up. Oh, yeah. He's up, baby. And Gon <laughs> He's up. That man, Nasuke, is already getting turned up. Wait, energy and fighting phase now, two on the left side over here. Phase tries to get an aggressive rotate. He's already kicking off, man. We see the teams in the winner's bracket and how fast they rotate. Nathan right. almost going down there. Yeah, this is amazing, bro, how fast everyone is moving to this zone. FaZe is getting aggressive Phony's, though, but Yeah, Phony's moving up, he wants oh, it. Oh yeah, here we go, we got that dual cam on now too. We see energy on the left, FaZe Good on the right. Good shots there from Phony. Two cracks on NRG. And Frex goes nuclear for two, it's a 1v1 here. Frex versus oh Nathan. God. This is actually bad for both teams. A third party is almost guaranteed here, Greek, when you're fighting in this spot. Someone's gotta be coming up. It's only one guy looking at it from FC. It is. That could force a whole team to go down here. And there we go. 1v1. Can they do it? Frex no, they cannot. With a full wipe on the NRG. That boy Joe. Oh, five chicken nuggets for the last three days. With my a squad wipe. And can he get a reset for the boys? Bro, my man has had three orange oxygen juices. Flying in on it though. A little bit of scrambled eggs, and he is feeling himself. And oxygen killing snipe down. And they see Phony knock to Frex. Last alive for his team, and it's not looking good. Yeah. Like I said, bro, third parties there are almost guaranteed no matter and how far NA away they are. just taking each other out. Here we go, TSM there goes now TSM. walking up. Where did Voice go? Are they still here? I think they're holding the left. They got thirded actually by real life. did, and this is actually huge, man, for TSM. The plot armor in full effect. The walk up is now free, and they are in zone here too, Greek, and it's looking really, really good for them. Yeah. Are they safe? Barely squeezing the zone here. One last guy that's going to be the last member of Realize. Realize so voice is going to be eliminated and Realize eliminated. Oh my god, and TSM now has full shots on Fnatic. They get their ass saved by LG the fighting here. FC yep. destroy. Nice, good cops. Oh my god. And FC destroy just got rolled. Just Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. That boy, Nia Zul and LG getting some good shots going down. And now Alliance going to try to fight Faxon, who has a Kraber inside. Fax yeah, got his sight set. Alive. Ooh, he wanted that one, bro. Zero, he's going down. It's gonna be TSM walking up on him. Yeah, TSM now wants to fight 100 Thieves here. I think it's the right call, too, by TSM, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, they don't really have much of a choice if they clear and they get Ruben. And that's not good. Oh, Triple no, scan for 100 so T. Bad. Fax goes down, and here goes Reps on the swing. And the swing coming down for TSM. Reps trying to move up. Alliance now taking this fight, too. We're gonna go to the duo camp. It's gonna be Alliance Huge versus TSM. All oh my goodness, effect. He's fucking feeling himself, baby. Can he get the kills? He does. And now LG versus Alliance. Here goes LG. Oh my goodness. LG and ALL coming on in, baby. Let's see if they can make it work. He's doing with some big shots there. Nice knock by effect. 2v1 for LG. LG walking on up. The Q coming out. The Azul with some shots on the AL. And there LG. it is. LG is the champion! Vamos LG! Vamos LG! Oh my goodness! LG El Presidente. gets the W in game number one. These boys are back with That's a That's a good way vengeance. to start it, baby. That's a good way to start it. They are back with a vengeance, big dog. They want this land bad. They are looking good. And let me just say, let me just say real quick, that is not, that is not an easy zone for LG to win. And they actually got some good loot here too for Gamera. Oh, this here, 
the nice, Seer they traded slow. Out, it's gonna be a 2v2. Oh my god, that character Zane is Zane and Nashki left for KCP. Nice, it's a really good job. Zane with some really good angles there, and he's gonna get a knock. Gets That's one on knock. the Dogma. Here we go, KCP. In control right now, it's one and knock. And Jung Yi trades it out. It's gonna be a 1v1 here. Nasty last go, 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 go. team. Nice. Jung Yi versus Nasuke here. Getting the res it. coming out. Double res trades right now happening for both squads. He might be able to just push this and stop it. Oh my god! Oh, Jung Yi with the wingman. What an absolute demon. The three tap to the dome. Gombare. What a legend. Oh, yeah, it's going to be real lives going down. And you know when Alliance sees blood, they're pushing. They're like a shark in water. They are literally. In fact, getting another one. And that's going to be two members down on Realize. Yeah, not a good start for these guys. And running into Alliance is probably the least fun you could have right now, I would say. Oh, no way. Right there. And effect. My man of the effect. Terminator. He just got actually super glide cap strafed by a grenade into real eyes and gets the kill. The grenade boost, Greek? We got three trios, one duo, baby. We got LG as a duo. We have DZ alive. Moist still alive. Charlie right now probably hitting the gritty on main stage. And Frex and Faze still alive. 3v3v3v2 three v three v three v here for game number two. A lot of NA and one Apex out. A lot of NA. Yes, sir. Nizul and company as the lone duo. They're probably going to take the ultimate low ground and maybe try to queue up late. But Moist is holding the ultimate low ground as well. Yeah. You got DZ, they're going to be chilling hugging the side of the building here. And it's most likely gonna be probably FaZe versus DZ here for ultimate height. I think so too, FaZe versus DZ makes sense. Can you put a FaZe on your screen so we can bounce back and forth? Cause I do wanna watch Moist, I kinda like where they're at right now. They're kinda in a more passive spot where they can just sit back, relax, and maybe just let these teams fight in order to win. I'm taking my shoes off. Great. I hope you like the smell, kid. Let's lock it in. Syracuse misses there. Yep. DZ has a lot of nades. Yeah, DZ does have a lot of grenades here. Here we go. Phase now with the fight here too. We have Moist and them down below. Moist waiting for this third party creek. They are plotting, baby. They are plotting. DZ still vibing. Good shots coming out from Zero. Nice shots from Multi here too and Moist. Four shots coming Good out from shots Moist. There's Nizul's gonna go down. Yanya last alive here for LG. Yeah. There's a huge cat wall here from DZ. Yeah, a nice little, nice little slow play here from Moist as well. Huge all from Zero. Wall. That's such a good cat wall by Moist. Can they do it? Zero now going up in the horizon queue. It's gonna be Moist now still chilling underneath. Phase has yet to leave the building. They're gonna leave here soon. That's a pretty good cat wall from them though, Greek, and they're gonna stall the rotate here a lot. Can DZ actually make this work? It is literally an apex pie. Moist now has to queue yeah. up. They're There's gonna actually go a huge queue. Can they do it? Pressing gonna go down. Right on him. Walsy's gonna go down as well. Dark Zero eliminated. Walsy last alive for his team. And Walsy does it! Moist does Walsy. it, baby! Walsy the GOAT! Shout out Walsy. to Charlie! Shout out to Critical! Moist takes game number two with one HP. He had 15 HP left. One shot. Oh my that was goodness! Almost a phase W. Holy Come on, shit! Bro. Baby. Holy shit! Shout out to Pricey. Zane once again not getting a gun. Gets an Eva though. Oh my god, Dogma on the opposite end. Red circle and a car. Good cover fire there. Good armor swap though. Got a KCP chant going on right now too. Wow, love to see it. So Zane get a full heal here. Only has an Eva. Yeah, so he got screwed over multiple times now so far with no weapon. Good swing by KCP, but really good damage from Dogma. The devotion coming out. He goes for one. Nice, Zane gets one with an eight. And yeah, Zane wins Gumbare. it. Look at Nasky. Yep. It's gonna be Gumbare eliminated. NRG is just peppering shots here inside with the rampart walls, big dog. They are looking real good right now. They have so much room to work with.
so much ammo as oh well. My, and this man, Sweet, is doing great. Phase now fighting EIQ, fighting again. They wipe the boys around to destroy. LG eliminated too. LG is eliminated here as X at the duo is still good. Fnatic and them still vibing. We have 10 teams alive, round six. Yeah. 10 teams alive, round six! That's what you love to see, baby. 10 teams alive, round six. And this is Comp Apex at its finest, baby. All right, well, here we go. Nine squads, 25. It is going to be tough to keep up the action, but we will do our best. Wish us some luck. Let's see what goes down here. We're going to watch Alliance with the overlooking view of everybody in the lobby here. They will have to jump off decently soon, though, and I want to see the plans going to be made. Alliance ulti is going down. Seer ulti is going down. Jumping down below to the fence line here is going to be Hack. Is trying to play a little bit of angles here. It's not going to be too good as he's going to be stuck underneath with two teams in front. This is oh, tough. Man, this Hack is so goes down to fun. Effect now, all by himself, trying to make this work. Can he rat this out? Looking pretty bad Royce right now. eliminated as well. But there is a chance. Effect getting pushed. Oh my goodness gracious, he takes out E6 as Alliance and Effect get some more KP. He's going to walk back up. Can he get some more shots? He's probably going to die to storm. zone. Yep. He does. Now FaZe is going to be a duo up top. Snipe down, trying to get Goes some shots. Down. He does it either, and Frex is going to be the low man standing free. And Frex is going to go down as well. You have EIQ still alive here, playing the knockdown shield. NRG getting swung in the back here by Fnatic. And it's the boy Yuka with the B-Stream buff. The B-Stream buff, baby. Can Fnatic oh do God, it? The super top strafe, super glide, and, and Fnatic Yuka. take the win. Come on, baby. Where is he? Over there. They're on the far side? Oh, yeah, baby. They're on the far side. Fnatic with a big time W in game number three. That's the B stream buff, kid. Hey, come on, Yuka. That's the interview buff, baby. Come on now. Dude, if there's one thing that I love watching, it is Yuka late game. Utilizing movement just to do whatever Fatigue he wants. Fatigue wall balance into a super glide tap strafe 30 30 finish. Like, uh, it's just who fun. does it better at? Any no one. Game, bro. And guess who he's on? Guess what character he's on? Oh, what character? Oh, yeah, Crypto. Who's doing that on Crypto? Tech. RKN. Oh. My goodness, here we hey, go. No. Alliance versus Oxygen. Reed's and effect goes down there. to Aiden. Oh, my God. 2v2. Reeds goes down. It's going to be a 2v2 here. Aiden with a knock. He is carrying this fight big time right now. Another shot. And Aiden the Destroyer. Goes nuke. Oh, my God. Aiden with the carry on his back for Team Oxygen. And Alliance can't be happy about that. Oh one. my god, he just sucked the energy right out of this building from those Alliance fans. Now Phony is gonna get the scan off, see two people, and they might swing for the kills. They might, bro, and they are going to with a great cat wall coming out from base. That boy Phony nice. man with the IGL power. You'll love to see it. What and an he's already chance. already turning around looking for E6. Yeah, and he's playing this angle like a Call of Duty angle. Bro. And he knows it. Oh my god. Great read from Phony. Can he make it happen though? The nice. punch coming out. The reload on the car, phony. Nice. Oh my God. Can the kid do it? One more Kaku and then maybe go for a res. Nice, E6 is eliminated. What a play from phony. And they're getting third partied yet again from up top. And phony looking for more angles. Phony is playing phenomenal right now, man. Both of them are, bro. Well done. Snipe down staying alive too. What a great, great play to earn his team some extra KP. And Tropic eliminated. Bro. Phase right now is looking almost untouchable, even as a duo here. Great job. Tropic eliminated. They get uh, gets, the, gets it off, though. It's not going to be enough. And that's going to be Phase going out, LG going out, Gombre now wiping them, and here comes Ascend to third it. Yeah, and I don't even know if Ascend can third this at all. I'm not too sure. I think. And now it's naked looking, too. Yeah, I think that they get this full reset, and they're good to go. They have all the armors in the world. NRG is chilling, bro. Nine seconds, though, to rotate in for Gambare, and they're stuck inside this house, dude. And now Moist fighting TSM. For Holst, kills Moist. Now oh TSM left God. as a duo. Now Oxygen, I think their best place to try to kill TSM here and at least go for second place minimum. Is this going to be an NRGW here? I think it is Greek. Ah, it's it's going to be a tough fight. They're going to get armor swaps. Oxygen's healthy. Oxygen, full HP versus NRG. Nathan does go down. Can Oxygen do it? 
The plays being made. The boys. Sweet goes down to Oxygen, Oxygen wins. Oxg take first place in game number four. And they just took the Uber back like they got the late night WYD text. That is very true, Greek. You know they pay for that shit premium too. Yeah, he goes down to the ring though. And Yana gets fully killed. What is that play? The swing though from Haguares gets the trade. Great, great and play. Zane goes down in the back to Yuki. So, KCP down to just one guy left. And here's the swing. Oh my goodness. God, Haguares. So reps in TSM on the backside over near launch pad. Empty's fighting here. Moist yeah. gonna pick up a knock on the Fnatic. That's a big time knock too. Fnatic is the fourth place team. Moist is in first. Let's see if they get this wide swing. MT looking a little bit aggressive here. Trying to swing up that. Good Oh! Oh! Come on, Moist! Come on, Moist! We're getting wet, baby! It's gonna be how last alive versus energy as they are getting mirrored on this left side. Zero almost going down now to how popping the med kit. Here's where they are. He's now getting looked at, walking across the wall. This is actually so bad. Good as swing how. there. Oh, Puts down Frex. My god, Frex just got put in the blender as Guild is now going down. There is no way he survives this, correct, Greek? I don't know, man. It's the CEO. No way. NRG eliminated. Yeah, so how is actually going to survive? What in the CEO is this? And now Xed fighting Pulverex. On the front side. And Saku so. Max Pump strikes in the face. Yeah, and Nocturnal is going to be at least 30 HP. Xed eliminated. Down. And Xed is eliminated. We're going to tune back to Hal, man. Let's see if this rat can actually make some plays here. As he's getting mirrored by Realize on his backside, but they don't realize it's only a solo here. As Zero is now getting crypto ulted on the backside and with that oh great break. God, he just no scoped that guy on the roof. He got no scope, but he does go down here as Jeff Burton and Sainu are in a 2v3. One goes down, Jeff Burton needs to clutch here. Can he do it? No. Oh my goodness! Jen Burton, baby, oh with the clutch. God. Shout out, Papa Jen. That's my boy. What an absolute legend. Holy what a play. Holy shit. And now, what a play. DZ dies, though. All right, chat, we got five squads of 13 still on Big Dogs. Let's lock it in. f -chan wants it. Oh, yeah. f -chan totally wants it, Big Dog. And he just got put down. Yeah, and f -chan just got fucked oh, up, but nice. CSM does go down, and they're going to be good. Let's head over to Moist Greek and see what goes on here. It is now a 3v3v3. 3v3v3v3. Oh, MT trying to stay alive. Realize throwing down the Gibby Old Pulver. Pulver has trying to really good up. angles on yeah. that, man. And I think Moist is not looking too good right now. They're Moist a little gets bit a knock dry, down. though. Wait a minute. No way. And they take out Realize Pricey going oh, absolutely bonkers in that My place. God. Realize, Realize, Realize. And they get taken down. Somehow Moist is alive. Pulverex not really over peaking at all. They are playing super safe. Yeah, Pulverex is a very, very disciplined team that does not normally make the first move. No, never. They're very disciplined. They hold strong to what works for them, and that's just getting placement points. But I think the team to talk about here is Gombare. Waltzy goes down to Shun Mi. Yeah. That's big time sauce from Shun Mi here. Waltzy and this actually dead. ends directly in the middle of both feet. Yeah, it's a little bit more towards Gombare here, just a tad bit, and they have the new castle. So I think this is gonna be really easy for them to get inside of that water. Put the fucking wall down, mobile shield down, and get shot down. And Moist gonna go oh, down. Yeah. And here we go, chat. APAC North versus APAC North. And Juicena strikes first. Fchan going down. Uh, going down. And Saku lost the life. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And Saku goes down. Gombare. Gombare. In game number five. Juicena. Take it. They were in 17th place that game, Greek. Gombare needed that Big fucking game. win, baby. That's they huge. needed it. Oh my goodness, what a feeling, what an incredible job. Did they job. show it already and they were standing up? Or? They're right here. Okay. They're, 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 they're standing up for sure. Nice job by Gombare, man. The unsigned, by the way. Someone sign them, man. Someone sign these guys. Someone sign them, man. Please. Ascend goes and out. they're going to be going down to the Olympic Dragon in Hot Oh, oh my, oh my God. God, have Jesus mercy. Jesus Christmas. How many one clips do you want from LG? Nathan you want on one, one from Nizul? 
You want some from Yazul? You want some from Yanya? You want some from Yaguerus? You let us know. Every damn time, every minute, every day. EIQ is thirding them. Oh my god, what a third party here from EIQ over on the right side near Fish Farms. Yanya is still going to be dead to that ring. So now they're stuck in a 2 3 scenario. Another knock. These guys in a gunfight are just unstoppable. Oh my god. How are they even doing Nizul. this? Nizul. Nizul all by himself. He's going to get a syringe off here, then maybe a battery. The I don't know if he has flash. He has one syringe left. He needs to pop it, then immediately go through and fight this Greek, or he will die to zone. I think at this point, he's just focused on the KP. 100%. If they can snag six points here, that's good. EIQ does get the res. That's not good. Did they? Yeah, they did get the res. Thorfinn's going to be almost full HP. Oh, they did. And I think the usual is probably going to die. He gets a syringe. No he might way. be able to loot the box. No way. On controller doing all this, surviving. Very impressive. Oh, They're going to rest now, too. He's saying he don't care anymore. Good try. I man. mean, what a phenomenal try by LG. They almost handle the third party 2v3 because Yanya dies to Storm. And what was and LG? That's EIQ. They're in third place. So LG is automatically qualified through till LG's finals. In yes. Xset now going to be fighting two up top versus NRG. Here we go, baby. A big time fight for big time players. Sykes going down. Gilderson puts him down. Four shots going through. Fun trying to make a play, and that's gonna be a finisher coming out for fun. I don't think he meant to do that. That's the armor armor him. And they're gonna get third partied, and that's not gonna be enough for Xset. We will see them in elimination bracket round two, courtesy of Alliance and NRG. NRG will also might not make it through. They're in eighth place, 32 oh, points. Wow. There's a chance. Gonbury eliminated. Gonbury eliminated. That's actually huge Bro, for it's NRG. It's gonna be so close. It's going to be so close. Oh my goodness. There is going to be such a tight race for 10th place. This is insanity. The duo does go down. Oh my god, it's Oxygen with the third party Greek. And that's KCP oh getting eliminated. My. Wait a minute. Not yet. But I think it's going to happen here. The swing now coming out. KCP is going to be dead, and they're going to most Loser likely bracket, not er, make it to elimination bracket round two. They will be set. Oxygen still alive. Hack is still alive. DZ is still alive, Greek. Oh my god. Yeah, DZ is, is looking good right now. Holy shit, dude. They got 4 KP as well. I think NRG is going to get 10 here. As DZ is probably going to advance past them. We'll see what happens. It's going to be within a one or two points for sure. Without a doubt. DZ trying to stay up. Only team, bro, from 9 to 15 is alive. You can laugh with the, the Kraber Heady. Oh my goodness, here we go. The boy coming on in. Fnatic going down. Dark Zero going down. Oxygen going down. TSM. Alliance now with the walk up here. TSM dying. Alliance, Alliance reclaiming the throne. And Alliance takes the win. And there we go. They're jumping all around. Alliance with the W in game number six. That's huge for Alliance, mainly because they're going to get some extra points going into finals. Well played, man. What a set. What a set of six, kid. All right. Well, the top three teams here that we are going to be watching are the winners of Elimination Bracket Round 1 and the lower, top, uh, lower 10 of Winners Round 1. The winners of Round 1 that you guys just watched, that set of six, are going to be advancing to the finals tomorrow. So teams like TSM, LG, etc., all in the top 10, are automatically playing tomorrow in the winners, which is going to be a match point format. We'll go over match point format more tomorrow. Give us your 10 that you think is going to go through to winners, or to finals, I should say. I'm going to go Ascend. Okay. I'm going to go Dreamfire. Okay. I'm going to go Northeption, okay. Riddle. Okay. I'm going to go Xset. I'm going to go Phase. Okay. That's at six. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take the four on the bottom row, Optic, Fire Beavers, Pioneers, 100 Thieves. Okay, so no Black Hand, no Complexing or E6. Yeah. Okay. All right, got you. I think that's a really good pick. Mine are going to be my mom and chat said Phase. Surprise that Mama Wig's Mama face, Wig, man. we love you. Face up, I guess, Mama Wig. Face up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I did that right. I did that right. I have no idea. We're going to have, for me, my top 10. I'm going to go Realize, Ascend, Onik, Dreamfire, Northeption, Riddle, 
accent, phase, optic, Hunter Thieves. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, realistically, man, it's it's fucking tough. Yeah, it's real. All 20 of these teams could easily make a top 10 and make it to match point finals. Yeah, I agree. There's no list of 10 that's not going to just disclude someone who definitely could do it. All these teams are more than capable of doing it. Yeah. Thorfinn is just waiting to queue up. Yeah, Thorfinn's also control player, too, so I believe this is 2002 controller. Thorfinn picks up one, and then Post is getting it put down as well. Oh, no. And Tropic up 3-1 right now. Ascend is gonna be eliminated as the boys at EIQ take down Ascend. That is a, a big time statement. Attack. A very big time play. And I think Ascend will either figure out their team composition for next game or figure out a new drop spot. Now Riddle gonna be fighting inside. Tappy pops the freaking hound. Arr! The dog's coming out. He's gonna try to push back EIQ here and they are holding their ground. They refuse to let EIQ push into this tunnel. They are still staying here and watching. It's gonna be a late rotate for Riddle when they have to move back out. Yeah, and I mean, EIQ here has just, I, I feel like this is a situation where both these teams just get each other killed. I think so too, especially with Case winning at E6 right on the backside of Riddle. It's gonna be really tough for them to make anything work. Once they walk out from this backside, E6 is just going to start popping shots, and they have total control of that whole spider side. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really even sure what EIQ's game plan is. They're going into this tunnel with 15 seconds. Yeah, and by the way, Fire Beaver's eliminated Onyx, so Onyx is now full dead. NTH with a rotation in. They're flying in the third of the tunnel. What are they doing? NTH just lands straight on top Kinda of Kind of gets E6. a knock onto Resi. I don't know what is going on. I think NCH didn't expect this to happen. Riddle now walking in here too. Here we go. EIQ and Riddle trade 1-1. 2v2, one, 2v1 one. Two two, two one now. Can Riddle make this happen? I'm not too sure as Yukio gets Hi, the Arca. knock. Where Wins it's the be. fight, but at what cost? Surdo with the good Q. We're going to see Optic now on the backside. Shots going down. The horizon only comes oh out. Oh my god. And knocked, bro. Doing a great job of staying up, but they are getting torched by the Horizon ult, the end grenades, Black Hand eliminated. Nasuke trying to do damage. Zane, last one standing. And I think it's only going to be one up for Optic. He goes down! Optic eliminated, Realize eliminated, Black Hand eliminated. Oh Fire Beavers God. now, the solo Taskmaster eliminates Pioneers, and that's going to be a top five here for Fire Beavers. No way! KCP goes down, the solo of Taskmaster trying to stay alive. The Horizon Q coming out, he finds a nice little rock to sit in, and they're looking real good, Greek, as he's gonna get pushed right now. Yep, and it's not gonna be enough there. Taskmaster with a great effort. Go next, they're gonna clear him out, and we're down to top four now. How is he ratting without them seeing him? I am very confused here. I literally can see him on the front screen. Oh, damn, okay, well, there we go. GG. Okay. Hold up, let him cook. What if they land and oob the balloon? Damn. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are they cooking? Okay. They are. Exit's about to fight. Oh, yeah, baby. Wait a minute. J Lynx. Oh, my God. Fun just decimated that guy. J Lynx might have had actually the play of the game here, Greek, again Nags with another Valkyrie. too. Yeah, this is amazing. They're getting angles here. Fun is going to yep. be full, though. Exit is a full three man. Here we go. And there we go. Jaylen with the push forward. 3v3, triple red armor. One knock goes down. The armor swap does come out. They're stabilizing here for the 2v3. Nags getting another armor swap, too. They're going to be almost full HP as they start to swing forward on Exit. Sykes needs to get a bat off, maybe. Sykes go get down. the knock. And, and Jaylen take it Jay number Ling, one. Bro. Oh my goodness! That's three in a row for J Lynx. Oh my three god, baby! W's in a row for J Lynx. They win the Let's last two matches go, of baby. last round, and now they win the first match of elimination bracket round two. And here we go, the Sir Q. Oh, baby. Sir Dell getting hurt badly here. And the grenades too. The drop down now as well. He's gonna go down. Oh no. Not looking good. The shots from oh, Arufa. Man. And Zane's gonna be dead. Sir Dell's gonna be dead. And that's KCP Asuke eliminated. going down. KCP, like you said, kid.
This is a beautiful third party from Riddle. They need to get proactive though, and they need to get in there. They get one on Thorfinn. Nice, good shots. Red armor though on Fire Peepers, bro. They have so much loot and just so many crafting resources. It doesn't even matter. They're gonna start to push forward now too, and they wipe yep. and Tropic. And Tropic does go down. Great play from Riddle, but there still are two up from Fire Beavers. It's not done yet. They have to solidify this job. One and finish time Hound, though. I think so too. No Hound though coming out. Doesn't really matter though. They're gonna get some good shots nice. going. There it is. One tap. He's trying to get some shots, and that's nice. gonna be Riddle. They got to instantly res and drop Picking an armor up so they can go. Four KP. And the boys actually get a great spot behind the tree. They have a trident. No idea how they did it though, baby. And that's going to be Riddle with 6kp right now, Greek. They are on a tear. Give me more. Go next, eliminated. It's going to be a lot all of squads alive, teams man. of six, except for one. As Exet gets grenaded out by Nags, that's going to be an arc star killing two of them. Does Exet get the res here? I'm not too sure, Greek. It's looking like they're going to. Grenade just misses. No, they're not. The wide swing coming out for Jalen. I like this play a lot. Hunter T in a 1v1 as well against Riddle. Oh boy. Nocturnal trying to stay alive. Can he do it? Scurry all by himself. We're going to turn the Greek stream here too. 1v1 for Scurry. Can he clutch up for the boys? He cannot. And one tappy and going nuclear. Goes down and Hand is still alive. Straight big flame now moving up. Exit eliminated. And here we go. Hand trying to make a play on a JMW. J Links does get knocked. Two going to go down. It's up to Easy Flash and Buki all by themselves in a 2v1. Looking for the swing here. Just trying to shoot the knockdowns out. The fences are going huge, bro. They can't do anything. Huge play from the fences here. They're trying to find the solo. They're not too sure where he is. He's even in here. He is not, I believe. It's going to be... They're dead. J-Link's fully eliminated. Yeah. So Noises goes down in hand, making a big-time play. And Riddle is still alive in the corner, oh, Greek. He literally cannot get knocked. They're trying to find an armor swap for the boy. Can they do it? They nice. do. Naked eliminated. Riddle picks up another one. No. And the top three. took the armor swap from Tappy. He has literally nothing. He looks for another one. Does he get it? He does on this one, too. Flash picks up two. Oh, my God. Pony picks up one. They have no idea. I'll be a case there. They have no idea. Last teams are going to fight here. It's going to be strafing Flaming Company, fighting FaZe, and, and Mia K. Mia K. Trades. That's a trade. Trades! Oh, oh my, my god. god! Black Hand, Black Hand is the Black champion! Hand. Black Hand is the champion! Mia K almost does it, but Black Hand, the team what to watch. What a game, bro. What a game from Black Hand, man. And they take game number two. Riddle with a phenomenal attempt. They are so happy right now. Shout out to the boys over at Riddle, man. What a great, great, great attempt. They are giving each other hugs, everything, man. What a phenomenal, phenomenal play from Riddle. Exit Maybe eliminated. Maybe one of the pools? No, they're, they're landing, they're landing on the house. I don't know if I like this spot. Depends if everyone else Optic is Optic is going here, too. Yeah, Optic is looking to make a play here. They're now rotating down below on the they ground. They see the duo of Exit, or uh, that's 100T, actually. It's a full three man of 100 feet. I think yeah, Hanma goes down. Nice. Yeah, 100 of these most likely gonna die. Their rotation is borderline impossible as a Tropic is eliminated. It's gonna be go next to eliminated. eliminated too. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so much going is dying. on. There is so much happening right now. Vaxlon goes down. Scurry trying to stay alive. He's the last one. Optic all by himself. They get swung. Optic it is eliminated. now a top 11 situation, kid. And 100 Thieves is trying to stay alive. Can they get the stabilized here? It's not looking too good. Scurry all by himself and a gold knockdown for Vaxlon on the bottom side. Anik and them right above Riddle, all the way on the roof, kid. Yeah, and I think if you're Riddle here, you just play as late as possible. Yep. And just honestly hope for the best. They gotta wait for a team to fight inside so they can third it. They just yeah. gotta lay low here because every time they peek, FaZe is literally fighting, is shooting them. Yeah. And so is FC. If I'm FaZe here, you need to you need to find out that this is a duo and you need to look for a clear. I think so too, and that's what exactly they did. One hundred percent, you fight. They just got the scan. They're now going to throw grenades to break the fences up top, and they're going to do exactly that. Hundred thieves is going to be eliminated at eleventh place. hundred team not looking so good right now. They need to step it up here too in the second half. Phony still has a frag. I think he throws a sky nade here, and he's doing it right there. Good grenade coming out for the boy Phony. Doesn't really hit for too much, so they're going to chill for right now. I think they still need to look to wipe. No, 100%. They need to wipe, and then I think they need to catwall to KCP yeah. and play for the game winner. I think so, too. If they don't fight for that game winner, they just die out for free. So there's a big time fight here for FaZe. We're going to tune into them. Easy they have to make flash, some big decisions kill. here. Easy flash and Blackhand, man. These kids are playing good, Greg. They're doing really, really well. Yeah. And here we go. 
Faze gonna start to walk up on the boys. Up top of FC Destroy. gets a kill. And that's gonna be Panoder just running. He just actually hits the Jets and leaves. He's gone. I'm gonna Nate be honest. Eliminated. Uh, they cannot hit that evac. No, they die. The wait, 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 wait. No, they get it off. Oh my goodness, the evac tower feed face special coming out for the boys. And they're fighting And this is going to be a straight up 3v3? Yeah, here we this go. This could be the game winning play here from FaZe. I really, really like this call. Yeah, whoever wins this will most likely win the game here, chat. Nice grenades coming down. Dreamfire eliminated. Kashera and Ascend now going down to the top right, too. Post getting full kill. Who's going to initiate this kill. first? I think, I think. KCP with the Syracuse. Yeah, I think and here they go. That. Snipe down. Going to go down to the Prowler of Zane. Oh, no. Good now shots there goes. from Frex. Nice. Rex, 1v2, and he does not and get eliminated, it. Ascend eliminated, Pioneers now, and it's Riddle. Riddle's coming to Oh my it. god, Riddle with the third. Can they do it The armor swap from Dell in a 1v3 scenario? Riddle with the third party. Pioneers eliminated. And that coach is doing this again. He's ready, baby, as the yes. other two teams are fighting. Let's lock it in. Are we going to see another Riddle and Yuki OW? for the day. Bro, I want him to look at us so bad when they win. So bad. He doesn't even care about us, man. No, not at all. Not at all. Not one bit. No. But Asha Kun is the GOAT. That guy, dude, they're the GOATs, man. They're the coolest. Here and we go. And Black Air Forces. It's so sick. We have Black Hand now and Onik over on the other side. Onik is going to be a duo. We have now Riddle on this side as well, soloing this whole side of the map by themselves. Let's lock it in, baby. That was a hell of a third party, man. They went from this side, too, and just crossed yep. while the other teams were fighting. That was actually such a goaded call. Nice shots here from Tappy, bro. We're going to tune over to Yukia, see what he does here. He has a lot of fans in the crowd, by the way. Met a lot of the uh, one of the fans saying that he's his favorite player. Who? Favorite play uh, Yukio? Yeah. They're, like, he has a lot of fans in the crowd saying that he's their uh, favorite player. Hell yeah. All they have to do is just wait. They need to wait and they need to target fire here. They just need to get knocks and split the knocks half and half throughout this fight so they can actually make, make this worse. It's a really, really good wall, by the way. Yeah. From that Mia team with a good knock. Yeah, it's a really good knock, though, by Mia K. A Bangalore ulti was even better from Yukio. And let's see if they can lock this in, baby. Bro, they're going to go insane. Onik eliminated. And here we go. Oh, Riddle. my goodness. One the team left. from Mia K. Shots going down from Yukio, one of the best powers in the game to do. They get nice, the knock right there. The first one. They get another knock. One Riddle. more to go. And Riddle. Riddle. Riddle win. Game number three. Oh, my goodness. Let's this go. man, Yukio, is dancing on him. He is dancing on him, baby. We love to see it. Yukio and Riddle. With Round a of a fucking applause, baby. W. Oh, that is amazing, man. And Obli is now dying. Real eyes going down. It's going to be KCP trying to stay alive. They're now playing the top side near respawn. Beacon go next is going to be going down here too. Skittle Cakes trying to stay alive on the other side. Look wow, at Skittles. what a spot on the light what post. A spot on the light post from Skittles as Naked is eliminated. And Naked's going to go down. E6 is going to take out Ascend. And we're going to tune back into DF. Let's see if they can make this work. Snipe down with the Kraber right down below on the first floor, kid. I don't really don't know what they're going to do here. They're not going to let them coexist. I think FaZe might need to make a play here They soon. just got triple queued. Yeah, this here is goes bad Dreamfire. Now. Oh, my God. And Dreamfire oh, trying yeah. to make a play on the FaZe. They're going to be successful. And Phonyhead's going to have to run away here by himself. What a play by DF as Onik Still is now going to fight KZ. CP on this backside here, RV. And they but tried. Zane goes down. There we go. Zane is getting knocked, and that's going to be the boys over at Onik vibing. They're looking good, man. Double, per, double gold purple for Onik inside this RV. How do they get this loot every time? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either, man. It's the luck of the draw or what? I'm not too Fire sure. Fire somehow got a full three-man reset. They got the a way. reset? So maybe a respawn beacon? That's the only way, Probably. Right? That's insane. Exit's still alive, by the way. Nocturnal is a solo, I believe. Here goes Optic outside. to clear the res. Oh, here we go. Optic now walking into EIQ. Knock is another one. Oh, that man Good try there from Thorfinn. Dude, that was a great go try. Go next, bro. eliminated, and Tropic eliminated. We're down to a top 10 here. Zone 5 is going to be closing in just about 10 seconds. And my man dropped. My man used all the Kraber shots, or he just dropped it. I'm bro, not too sure which one. It's ending literally on the card. Exit now fighting two. 
They're taking down OJ Ryan. It's literally ending on the cart where 100 Thieves was. They're gonna beat themselves up over that one for sure. No doubt about it. Fire Beavers is gonna be one up now. Exit a duo as they could not get the res on the Sykes. DF getting aggressive to Kraber, coming out for that boy Roy. Let's see if he can make it work. Good Q there to dodge the bang hole. Oh my god, boy, so good. Nice, Onik eliminated, phase eliminated. We're down to eight squads now, Dreamfire. They can't even get the Walking away in this edge. And they have a nice little quadrant of the map here from the double cat wall. Get yeah, Optic getting more KP right now onto KCP. That is free KP for them as well. They're trying to get those shots going. Oh my oh, god, yeah. Skittle Cakes. Zane going down. One left, and that's gonna eliminated. be KCP getting rocked as DF now coming in for the third. Let's see what Roy can do here, man. The boys moving up, and they're trying to take some space, man. They're getting aggressive. It's gonna be Optic. Roy with the Kraber. Oh my goodness, Roy. Getting some heat checks in there as well. They're moving up, you hear this crowd getting wet and wild. Another heat check coming out. They're gonna be one man up. That's gonna be Good Roy try. going down to drop. And Optic takes down DF. Knock goes down though to Nocturnal. Oh my goodness, Nocturnal. The rat, I believe, all by himself. And that's gonna be Exet. He gets the fin on Knock though. He does, a nice little grief there Exet from eliminated. Exet. That's a great job with the grief, man. Easy Flash and company still alive as a duo, man. Black Hand has played so many games as a duo. I know, and they're doing so well, but look who is still alive. Fire someone, someone we have not seen in a long time. E6. E6 is still up. That boy kind of, man, the youngest player here. Optic out and forth. Trying to make it to finals with his team. Yeah, this would be a huge, huge win for E6 here, man. Yeah. You know they've been looking for it. They need it. The boys want it. Yeah, they got to have a big time W. They are not in their peak form right now. Maybe this could actually help them get there and show the land what they're made of. Yeah, I mean, I gotta give it to FC Destroy, man. There have been people dying left and right, right next to, right on top, right below, and they are still holding strong. I know, it's insane. Somehow, FC Destroy is just living. <laughs> they are, that's all they're doing. Nobody's messed with them. No, not at all. They've that's just all been the, dying around them. It's the Newcastle Watson, baby, I'm telling you. I they actually did a really good play to put the Newcastle wall on one side and block yep. the doorway. Smart. So that they could put a Watson gem right behind it. Yup. And here they go on the push. A bubble coming out, 4K Swinney. They are on the Caustic Jimmy Falk, the OG comp. I love this, man. I think this comp is so good. Oh, baby. Good shots on the knockdown shield here. They gotta watch out for up top though. K Swinney is probably gonna get knocked here. Dies to the thermite. It's gonna be FC Destroy trying to wipe, and they do. FC Destroy. FC Destroy take a W in game number four. Oh my goodness. FC Destroy with a win. And Greek, they were pretty down bad in points they overall, that I w. believe. I think they were pretty close to like 17th, right? Well, that's updated now. No, they were in. They're ninth, never mind. And oh my goodness, Exet is what the fuck is this from Exet, baby? They are getting aggressive. Do you think they know They are it's getting E6? down and dirty, riddle eliminated. I have no idea if they know it's E6. They have to. I'm not too sure, let's see. They have to know. I, I think you're right, brother. I think you're 100% right. Traps getting broken here. Grenades being thrown. Sykes landing nice. on top of them both. Nice Sykes shots. doing really good damage here. No, the reload. It's gonna be Nocturnal all by himself. Nice, 1v1. Oh my god! And E6 Nocturnal. is eliminated. Nocturnal! That boy Noc moving different, baby. The Q coming out from Roy, trying to make One anything HP. possible. He's gonna rotate into a full three man. He's gonna go down two, and that's gonna be the boys. Over at DF eliminated, Hand still alive, Greek. Hand yeah. is playing incredible. Yeah, they're leading the pack right now. Yeah, they're doing a great job. Complexity dead, Dreamfire now dead. Hand's gonna be a full three man as Impulse and Fire Beavers are now fighting the boys at Exit. It's gonna be Sykes right above, and Taskmaster's gonna be one HP. The swing coming out from Sykes, he gets put down, baby. Stay in your lane, kid, as 100 Thieves is hitting the craziest rotation of all time. The ooh play from the top rope. They're Who sending they it like they're on? silly. Who are they gonna grief here? It, it's either phase or easy flash. 
I'm not too sure. They fully jump down. They're gonna get to Anmu. They land in the middle of everybody, Greek. I don't know if I know if I necessarily have to do with that. Good shots there, nice. and they knock bricks. That is huge, man. FaZe getting griefed here. Anmu's gonna go down. He got a little too aggressive on that front side. And now it's gonna be FaZe on the back end as Black Hand is eliminated. What a good oof from 100 Thieves, bro. Scurry getting some good shots as well. It's gonna be, I think, a 2v2v2 on this backside. No? Black Hand a duo, FaZe a duo, and 100 Thieves a duo. Yeah. Yeah. And FaZe. And 100 Thieves might be able to get the res right now on the Anmu here. They gotta watch out though, it's a little bit risky if the other two teams wanna push forward here. They are on the low ground now too. They are getting shot out here, they're gonna swing in front. Nice shots from 100 Thieves. They gotta stay up here, this is yeah. a big time fight. Nocturnal goes down. Nice shots and FaZe is eliminated. And Hand is gonna be dead too, don't forget. Still alive. 100 Thieves still alive, bro. Hand was dead, I forgot. So they are good, they clear their backside. And the boys at 100 Thieves! Making the play of a century here. Good rotation from the boys. They need a big game here. Totally unbiased, but you absolutely love to see that play. Xet lost their height, by the way. Hunter Thieves gets a reset. There's nobody on the height. They're going to try to stay alive and just maneuver on this right outside area. Oh, my. Fun cannot res here. No, Fun's probably going to go down here. It's two solos. It's going to be Impulse as a solo and Fun. Hunter Thieves is looking for the KP as Nocturnal does go down and fully eliminated. Ascending and, to a big game here too, right? And 100 T takes the height instead of wrapping right. And let's see if they can make this play. Top four scenario. I see Ryan in the stands up there. My boys Ryan and Logan Where's showing he? up top. The manager for 100 Thieves right up there in the front row has his hands on his head and he is ready for it. 100 Thieves needs a big game here. It is go big or go home for 100 Thieves. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of teams in here. Ascend is another one of those teams that needs a big game. And they're going to take out Xset here. Ascend picking up yet another kill. Yeah, this is really good for Ascend, bro. They're doing a really good job getting the KP that they need. And that's going to be the solo of Fire Beavers there on that front side. And they're going to go down. And here we go with 3v3. 100 T versus oh Ascend. Backspot just fed forced. his face, bro. And it's gonna be a 3v2 now for 100 T. Can they make this work? It's not looking too good for the boys. They're gonna go Anmu down. Goes down. Anmu goes down. Anmu. Scurry, 1v1. No, no. and Ascend takes the win, and my Still heart is game. happy, but my game. heart is also sad. I Still am so game. torn on how to feel. Fuck me. Still a good game. It's all good. All good. Faxon with a very big misplay there, Greek. He cannot I think he jump jumped down. a little too early. Way too early. He, he could have jumped on up. the beam. Yes. yes. And just looked down instead of yep. jumping straight down. Faxon with still, a little ascend. bit of a throw. You love, you love to see a big game from them. Oh, my God. Unbiased, but Jesus Christmas. Ascend was an 18th there. It's big. Do they hop into the top 10 now? It's going to be really close, man. This is all just so close. It's insane. I would say the cutoff is probably like 34, yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah. So like Ascend needs just like a, not a zero point game, but J Ling's, FaZe, Optic, 100 Thieves are all not safe. No. If any team from eighth to 14th doesn't have at least a five point game, they're donezo. I agree. They're donezo. I agree fully, there's a really good It chance. is going down to the last game and there's literally like six different spots that could change. Oh my God, I am actually just. This is about as high pressure as it gets here. Yeah, I'm shaking right now. This is absolutely insane. Are they insta dropping a trial? Let's see. I think they should. I don't know if they're gonna, but I think they should. So let's see, baby. Uh, maybe they're talking about something else, bro. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh, no, they're not doing it. They're not. They're faking it. <laughs> ah, they got our ass too. They're, they're actually running over to Jay Lynx. Yeah, they're actually pushing like over immediately on the Jay Lynx here. Are they taking this fight? This is a crazy fight to take with a Spitfire or Gold Mag for Kinda. And they're swinging immediately. Oh my god, they just caught JMW by surprise. Wow, this is not good for Jay Lynx, Greek. This is a code red right now for the boys at Jay Lynx. This is so, so bad. They're in what, seventh place right now or sixth place? Seventh place, 29 points. Kinda and Jay Lynx. Are they out now? I don't know. They're in seventh place oh, yeah, 29 points. Okay. There's a good chance they might not be. But that the stars is also... could still align for them to qual, but that oh, is not good. my God. That is a code red for Jay Wings. There is a chance after winning the first game of the series, they do not qual as NTH now is pushing up to fight the boys over at E6-2. Oh, so we might see an NTH E6 fight here breaking out on the backside 
of Skyhook. MTH needs a nuclear game chat. And I mean that in the fullest form possible. And here they go, Satuki's in there. That's not good. They're getting ulted now too, it's really bad. That's good. They can go low ground now. Nice, Satuki does get healed. They're gonna play inside as well. They're gonna start to move forward here. MTH versus E6. Let's see what they can do. North Epson, man, on their toes. Elimination could be an option here for them as well. If they kill off E6, E6's dreams are nice. dead. Nice, Rezzy gets a kill. Oh my god, big time knock. We're gonna have Swinney going down, and this is not good now. Any third parties available, none right now, as 100 Thieves might come in, Greek. They're looking at the top side, they're thinking about it, as a gold knockdown shield is indeed being played. This is a very, very, very bad thing here. For and here's a swing from North Epson. Oh my goodness, Slayers goes down. North Epson oh is gonna kill E6. God, and E6 is eliminated from the tournament. No third party at all. And NTH has the whole backside oh. of Skyhook to themselves. Oh baby, Optic trying to make oh, their way out, but 100 Thieves is torching Optic. Knocked somehow makes it out. Drop is going to be fully eliminated here. Nocturnal goes down to KCP. And Nocturnal is going to die to KCP. Knocked. He's stuck up top. Kashera getting knocked by Scurry. These KP are going to go huge for 100T here, Greek. Yeah. Drop getting fully eliminated by Anmu. Knocked somehow making it in. 100 Thieves going to be right next to the boys over at NTH. That's NCH. a huge Horizon Q. This is big time here. This is a Sen they're going to fight. Yes, sir. 100 Thieves versus Sen with NCH. Maybe that is a third huge party. drone break as Scurry gets the first knock. Here we go. Is NCH going to third party? No, they're not. Dreamfire eliminated. NCH is going to third party, Greek. Ascend is eliminated. Oh, my now God. Now they're going to be fighting 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves trying to get the reset here. Can they do Dreamfire it? Dreamfire eliminated Oh, as my well. God. Ascend dead. NCH dead. Alive. While they look for the third. Another one. Yes, back, sir. Finish it at least. Oh no! Hundred Thieves might be going down here. They get blown out again. And now they get Vax the full wipe. One. That's big time kills for Hundred Thieves. Thieves regardless. Seven, there, seven points for Hundred Thieves. That is a big time play. I'm not too sure, Greek. Overall, Hundred Thieves actually just got eight kills. Eight kills and how much place of points? I think I two. One. one or two should be a nine point 11, game. Maybe. That is great. Great job for Hundred Thieves here, man. As Realize is still alive inside marketplace. It's a nine point game. I nice. Think I think they're good. And Snipe Down is going to have a Kraber here. They're located in eighth place for phase with the Kraber. Riddle orders eliminated by Real Eyes. Real Eyes recognizing those Real Eyes. And don't forget, look, he's still alive. That's all Inception? I'm saying. North Epson is still only alive here, bro. Only three kills, though. Only three kills. They're going to need to pick, up it up, pick it up big time here. As FaZe and Snipe Down still alive. Real Eyes on his backside. Obli and them in market with a great angle. And Real Eyes right now, Greek, is in 19th place. 19th here for yeah. Real Eyes. Only have two kills. Only have two kills. It's not looking too good for the boys over at Real Eyes. They have to have a banger of a game here. Exit on the outskirts over here. Naked alive too as a full three man up top of this building. Let's see what Naked does. Yep, Naked's gonna have to make a crazy rotation here. And I want to point out here, the building that is in front of them has all three floors already taken up. Yep. So they don't, they have a tough road to make. They have a very, very tough road to make. Optic's still alive as well as a duo. Sorry. They're still alive as a duo. Yeah, Optic doing a really good job of staying alive. North NTH eliminated. eliminated, and their tournament chances are over. NTH does go down. Here goes Optic. They're looking at Mirror Exit, who I don't think is even paying attention. No, I don't think so either. Skittle Naked. actually just knocks Sykes in the back. That's a great job by OG. They're making a play forward here. It's going to be really hard to stay kills. alive. All they need is KP. Exet picks up. Exet is eliminated as Optic picks up two more there. That is big time for OG. zone here. Yeah, they gotta try to stay alive. Once the smoke goes down, Greek, I think they're gonna die. Exet kind of did them a favor a little bit here. And this wall is also doing them a little bit of a favor here too. And that's gonna be knocked. The last one up here for Still Optic six. Gaming. Still in sixth place though. And they're picking up some KP. They're getting shot in the backside. Knock gonna be the last one up. This is big time plays. They have five KP in a top six scenario. Can Knock stay alive? No, he cannot. I'm not sure how much that's gonna do. This leaderboard is just getting tighter yeah. and tighter. Optic I don't know what to eight. expect. As realized, sitting in market all they have by seven themselves. Kills now. They have seven kills now. They have seven kills. And they're in 19th, down by almost 20 points, Greek. They're almost there right now to qual. They just gotta pick up four to five more KP and a win. They might make yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely close. You have KCP, Fire Beavers, EIQ, and FaZe all in that building.
Oh man, and Psych six up top is like this right now. Yeah. Six is a little bit nervous. We'll see how this goes. I'm not too sure how it's gonna work for 100 KCP teams close. or Optic. KCP right now is 23 points. They're right and there phase, in it. right? And FaZe, they're in eighth or six, uh, eighth, yeah. yeah. We'll see. FaZe right now with zero kills. Zero KP And two of them go down. Oh no, FaZe might be eliminated here. It's not looking good. And FaZe is gonna die. In fifth. And they they're not gonna points. pass j -Lix. And here goes Entropic, as they get a kill onto KCP. And it's real eyes recognizing those real eyes, using those real eyes, baby. And here we go. They're trying to get any KCP, KCP picks up three points onto Entropic. Is real eyes gonna do it, Greek? Is this the comeback story of the century? Does real eyes make the run? They need KP here. They just can't get the win only. They gotta get some KP, Greek. They have to. Serdell going down. Zane going nuclear. They're missing out on so much, Greek. They're missing out on Zane so gets much. gets another kill. I think KCP makes it off that, boy. Oh, man. I think KCP makes it off it. And realize, wins. Game numbers. <laughs> realize, wins game number six. Chat, this leaderboard is insane. I have no idea what to expect, bro. I have no idea what to expect. We're gonna wait for these overall leaderboards to load up I here. I think Realize got 20 points out of that game, which I don't think is enough. All right, and here we go. The overall scores, one by one, are they updated? We're gonna take a little refresh here. I'm about to shit. Here we go. Blackhand, first place. Xset, second. Riddle, third. Fire Beavers, fourth. FC Destroy, fifth. 103, sixth! Let's go, baby, huh, non -biased. KCP 7th, Optic in 8th, Ascend in 9th, and FaZe in 10th! Let's go! Realize misses by 3 points, J-Lings misses Faze, by 4. let's go! Oh my goodness. NA pulls through somehow, kid. NA pulls Optic through. Optic pulls through KCP, man. That's a big one to get into finals. A big time win to get into finals, bro. Insane.